I cannot believe what I get to do for my job. We get to meet great guests, eat excellent food from top chefs, and then what I'm about to do today. The thing is, though, you too could do what I'm about to do. Kathy Schott, a Schlott of the National Aviary is here with a rather ominous looking bird that I'm about to have a close up encounter with myself. Good morning. Good morning. And so who do you have here with you? This is Squire and Squire is a lanner falcon. This is a falcon that is native to Africa, the Middle East and parts of the Mediterranean. And it's very closely related to our peregrines that we have right here in Pittsburgh. That's right. And this is as big as he gets, right? Because he's, adult, he's an adult and he's a chatterbox. He is, he's very vocal. <laughs> How old is he? He's around 14 years old right now. Oh, wow. And is he showing off or what is this gesture that he's doing right he's now? He's ready to go. He knows something's coming and he's ready for it. Okay, so this is the glove, right? I need yes. to put on. So you're gonna put that glove on and okay. then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little piece of food on your glove and, and then he's gonna hop right to it. How should I hold my arm? So you're gonna hold it straight out to the side, just like this. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Because he knows his job and he's very good at it. See, so he's ready to he's go. He's already wrote, oh. Yep. There oh, you go. just don't get hit in the any. Hello, okay. <laughs> there you go. Showing everybody your backside, I see. And what is his name? His name is Squire. Hi, oh, that's right, you did say that. Hi, that's Squire. That's okay. So Squire. Squire is one of the birds. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious, okay. <laughs> that you can meet at the National Aviary. <gasps> Oh, he's clamping down on my finger. Oh my there you go. Okay, so you can meet him. Hi, Squire. I'm trying to keep my cool here, but I'm not doing very well at that. So you can meet a bird of prey, or we also have owls that will sit on people's gloves during our bird of prey or owl encounters. And so we try to give people a unique, up close personal experience with some of these birds while we educate them on what's happening with them out in the wild. I'm just going to take him back. Oh, goodness. oh gosh. Okay. And he's hopping away. And I guess during this encounter, this experience, you get to learn a lot more about their habitat, what they eat, how they hunt, how they survive, and what you can do to help protect them out in the wild. And part of that encounter would also include meeting owls. You can meet owls. So you can sign up for a bird of prey or an owl. Or, or an owl. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Yes. All right, well, that was very interesting. Thank you, Squire. You also brought somebody else with you today as well. We, I, I don't need the glove on for that one. No, right? you do okay. not need the glove on for that. So we brought an African penguin. Great. So we're gonna we're gonna make that transfer here. Um, but while while she's getting the penguin for us, there are so many other encounters. You have the flamingo trek, which sounds so incredibly amazing. We do. You actually get to go into our wetlands of the Americas room, go down the ladder and onto Flamingo Beach with our flock of uh, flamingos. And so, as I understand it, you get some sort of like pail with you mm -hmm. with food? So we have a bowl of food, so that way the bowl of food comes up and the flamingos will come up, they'll eat. Sometimes they'll even make you part of the flock by like preening and cleaning your hair for you. And you just, it's an amazing experience to be down there with those flamingos. I know you've brought Vivian here before, so you can also come and meet Vivian, the sloth encounter. Yes, the sloth. She's a very popular sloth. Yeah. Uh, Vivian has a lot of fans. And you can actually come to National Aviary and learn all about sloths and what you can what they do in the wild and just their normal everyday life and you actually get to touch Vivian she's adorable she really is so <laughs> adorable she eats now you can feed her also we have little Julian style uh, sweet potatoes and zucchini sticks too so she needs her food chopped up just perfectly huh she does um, you also have armadillos Yes. And you can meet the armadillo. We do. And the armadillo, you actually sit down on the ground with the armadillo and the armadillo runs around you and you get to touch and feel the armadillo's natural armor. So it's cool. a very unique experience. And this one I was really excited about. There's a parrot painting thing that you can do. We've trained our blue-fronted Amazon parrots to hold the paintbrush in its mouth and actually create a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. You can so pick its color, your, the colors, you get to take it home and hang it on your wall. Very cool. Okay, so we have this adorable penguin. I'm going to put on these gloves because we are going to do something fun. These are different yes. kind of gloves. <laughs> and so who are we meeting now? We are meeting Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Don't and fall off the table here, Mary Beth. Just you stay right there. Hello. Hello. And what is Mary Beth? What kind so of penguin? Mary Beth is an African penguin. Okay. We have a colony of African penguins at the National Aviary, and they live in our area called Penguin Point. And so one of the other encounters that you can do is, is come in and feed them? Yes, it's a newer encounter. So you actually get to put on the hip waders and the boots, go up into the rocks 
with the colony of African penguins and help feed an African penguin. Okay, so what, what are we feeding her today? So we are feeding her a fish called capelin. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold the fish up to her mouth and she's gonna take it in just like that. And you're gonna wanna go head first because that way the gills don't stick up. What kind of fish are we feeding? Capelin. We have uh, Market District Chef uh, Crystal Baldwin here. I wonder if she wants to use these for her grilling <laughs> segment coming up. Okay, so head first like this, yep, right? Yep, and put it in her beak and then you go ahead and shove it down a little bit. So I can start. There oh. you go. Oh, that's tasty. And they obviously eat the fish whole. They do eat the fish whole. It's amazing. They can eat fish that's five times that size also. <laughs> this is, smells disgusting. Mary Beth, I don't know what you find so appetizing about it, but I'm happy that you're here. No, you're done. I well, see. And one of the big things that we want to talk about is educate the people about the fish and how you can help the African penguins in the wild by eating fish sustainably. And tell me more about that. And so as humans, what we're doing is we're overfishing the seas and we're taking away a lot of the food that African penguins and other fish eating animals need. So just by making sure that the fish is obtained sustainably, you can help save African penguins and other animals. And so we educate, <laughs> sometimes you gotta get it right up in there. Let's see, there you go. Maybe she just likes you more than me. So eating sustainably really will help somebody like Mary Beth. Yes, there are a lot of choices that we make every day that have a huge impact on the animals in the wild and their habitats. And so part of our job is to educate the public when they come in and educate guests when they're doing these experiences. So that way everyone knows what they can do to help them in the wild. Well, and I think too, just being able to interact with them really brings that home. You're able to kind of digest all of that information. It is, they're great memories. It's just such a great experience to share. And you can bring your friends, your family. Great. And if you wanna have a very special day, you can come to National Aviary, do some encounters. We have a VIP experience, which is a three hours. Sometimes people do the VIP and the sloth. And you just, it's a day that you're never going to forget. I will never forget this day. Thank you, Mary Beth. Appreciate you coming in. Book your encounter for a one of kind of experience at the National Aviary now. Great for yourself or a unique gift. I can tell you having just done it, it is thrilling and exciting and just so neat to be able to interact with them. Contact the Aviary online or by phone. Look for the link and the number at kdka.com slash PTL.